Obviously, the last time you guys saw each other was a bit heated, so I don't know. I hope this is a good idea, bringing everyone together and making it hopefully something good. I mean, yeah, I just feel like we're not seeing eye to eye. Like, we spoke at the brunch and I think we just didn't get really get anywhere. No, I agree. I think the only person that, like, there needs to be here is Izzy right now. Yeah, where is she? She's not coming. She... She's not coming? No. She sent me a message, actually. What does it say? Um... Please, can you tell Lily I'm sorry I can't make it? I just don't particularly want to come and sit there in the presence of Yaz after hearing the vile things that have come out of her mouth. It's almost as if I have majorly disrespected her when the only person who has been majorly disrespected is me. Thanks for being the sweetest friend. Kiss. Do you know what? That is the most funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. What, someone being sad? It's funny. funny yeah. Oh, what? Because she's playing the victim here right now. If she had such an issue with me, why didn't she say it? Because when she's hearing words like uh, calculated and untrustworthy, you like, think? that upsets her. Like, I can take that, but Izzy, she doesn't want to confront you about that. No, I don't. I have and like, to say even to just you. the way that you're coming across now, like, like, let's just be honest, you lied. You were the person who has actually caused all this animosity because you've almost ditched your friends just to have this <sighs> sort of like relationship or friendship that you used to have with Miles. It's sad. Like, obviously, like, we've known each other since yeah. we were younger. You've always been, in my eyes, like, the nice girl, the very, like, understanding, the very empathetic. And all I wanted to do here is defend my friend Izzy, because from what I've heard... Izzy's you've been, never said to me from that From what I've friends. heard, don't you've shout. been disrespectful. Don't then don't talk voice. over me. Then don't Just talk don't over shout. me. You're not my mother, darling, and I've told you this before. Please <laughs> do not try and tell me what I can and cannot so do. Yeah, yeah, I, I do I, I'm understand. quite shocked at how you spoke about yeah. this. I think the reason this is all being, like, Annoyingly blown out proportionate is because like, it's. Maybe just focus on your relationship. Oh my and god, maybe focus on all your lives and rather than mine. Uh, from what I've heard, it just sounds like you, maybe I mean, you guys have had some sort of rocky start. Really? I don't know, it doesn't sound like it's. Rocky a... start? Did you not speak with Lily yesterday or whatever about their relationship and stuff and how that's been? I mean, maybe yeah. there should be more focus on that rather than the Miles situation. I just feel like everyone's kind of like speaking behind my back. Clearly, you have an opinion on Guy and I's relationship. No, there's no opinion. There's no, like, negative opinion at all. Like, it's stuff that we, like, notice kind of thing. And how, like, with me and Billy, we're very, like, always touching, always wanting to hold hands. You guys, I guess, are just more, like, reserved. Like, it's not a bad thing, it's just different. Yeah, all I heard was that it wasn't the same as what it was with you and Miles. That's all. That's, that's what, what I meant. I'm when actually I, that's what so... I meant when I do you know what? I'm up. sick of it. Like, you can have your opinions, Paris. It, I said, I Me heard. and you don't see eye to eye. I heard. I'm sick of talking about relationships. With Izzy, to a I, have, I only have to talk to Izzy. And understand so I'm, the beginning. I'm, do you know what? And the end. You can continue talking about me. Yeah? I'm done. Oh, good. Continue talking about behind my back because I'm done. Bye. Hi. Hi. I'm <laughs> so surprised you showed up. The reason I didn't come to the spa day is because you've been like saying horrible things about me behind my back. I haven't been saying horrible yes, things. You I said have. you were calculated by this, how you've gone about this situation. You said I'm calculated, untrustworthy, fake, not a nice girl. Well, I, I kind of agree with those things, what oh, I have said. OK, why? Because I'm sat there at the spa with Willow and Paris coming in at me, disgusting me because of such a bad friend I am to you. And I was like, I know I lied to Izzy, I know that, but I don't think I deserve all this shit that is coming in my way. But you know the And you've got all your friends to do your dirty work when they weren't even in Bali. I'm not getting my friends to do my dirty work. They're defending me. Then why don't you come to, to the spa? Because you were talking shit about me. Do you think I want to go talking and about you? What have you been doing about me? Why are you being so defensive about this? Are you like are you stressed out by something else? I'm stressed out. How about are you like happy in your own relationship? Like what? What? Yeah, why are because you talking about a relationship. Because everyone is saying that you're unhappy, and maybe that's why you're putting so much like defensive energy right, into this. Right, so we're having a whole separate conversation now you start to bring up my relationship. What's my relationship got to do with any of this? Because I'm saying if the reason why you're... Is do you know what, like, Izzy, I, regardless of anything that happened, whether it was a truth or not, I forgave our friendship for the way things were handled in Bali. And I think that was the biggest mistake. I genuinely do, because I do think you're trying to play a victim here. I genuinely oh, I do. I am the victim. OK, I you can think that. Victim. But Everyone doesn't agree with what you're doing. And you did me wrong. Okay, I did shall you. Me. You did me you wrong. You did me wrong. No, I didn't. You were fake with me. No, I didn't. You, you were lied to me. Literally made me feel like sh let Miles rip into me. It's all about Miles. Your issue is with Miles. No, it's not. Not me. If it was another guy there, if it was your boyfriend and that same thing happened, I wouldn't care. It's not. Oh, well, when I was in Miles. Bali crying my eyes out, you thought it was hilarious. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this, honestly. Right.